Hey guys! So today is Labor Day and try as I might to not go to any of the thrift stores in town. Um, it was just too hard to resist. There's so many half off sales going on and I was like, I really shouldn't go because mama's waiting for payday, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so I figure if I set a budget and try to be really good, and the fact that it's half off, like, I feel like I can, like, be responsible here, you know? And it would be, like, a total disservice to not go to any of the sales. <laughs> like, I have to check at least one out. So, um, yeah, rambling aside, I am en route to Snowline Thrift Store. Um, I just went there recently and had a really good experience. And they, of course, are doing 50% off the entire store. So I was like, all right, I'll go to one place. <laughs> I'll set a budget of 20 doll hairs. So you guys have my word right now. $20 is my budget. And I think I'm going to try to focus on, like, craft supplies and, like, home organization stuff like I really feel like I could use that but I will be checking out the clothes <laughs> like of course I will so that's what we're gonna be doing today cross your fingers that it's not too crazy you guys know how I feel about crowds on sale days and if it is crazy I'm gonna bounce like I'll just be honest <laughs> I just cannot deal with that so I'm hoping it's not too nuts and that we find some good deals and um that I'm a good girl and stay in budget. So let's see how this goes. Update, the parking lot is totally packed. Pray for me. darn piece of hair. Like, just get with your friends. Just, okay, forget it. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so I am back home now, and I am happy to say I had a good experience at Snowline. They had some good stuff, and it really wasn't that crazy, which is always nice. And, guess what? Guess what? Your girl stayed under budget under budget by like five doll hairs. That's just, I'm pretty proud of myself, I have to say. <laughs> and I got quite a bit of goodies, which I will show you in a minute. But first, I have to share some hot goss with you that I got from a fellow shopper. I was just like shopping, checking out the like homewares. And this guy just kind of casually mentioned, he's like, oh, it's just, it's so much nicer here. Like, it's just, it's not crazy like Goodwill. I was like, oh yeah, I feel you there. Like, I won't even go on sale days because it's so crazy. He was like, yeah, I was waiting 45 minutes, 45 minutes for a parking spot. And then he ended up giving it to somebody else because I guess there was some kind of like brawl in the parking lot. <laughs> like people were fighting over the spot. So he was like, forget it. I'm out. Not even going to deal with it. And he heard from his friend or somebody who went in and started shopping that they were waiting in line for over an hour. That will never be worth it to me. <laughs> Like, I would much rather spend the few extra dollars and not have to deal with that kind of line or craziness. And I feel like Goodwill should really do something about it. <laughs> like, they know how crazy it can get on sale days. So maybe instead of just doing one 50% off day around a holiday, they should kind of stretch it out over the whole weekend. Doing two or three days worth of sales means that you won't have everybody there on one day. Just an idea, Goodwill. Just throwing that one out at you. Because I definitely don't go on sale days anymore. It's just, it's too cray cray. <laughs> so it was just funny hearing from this guy that he was just like, yeah, I bounced. I was out of there. And this is just such a better shopping experience. And you actually want to look around and buy things and you don't feel stressed out and like you're rushed. So just had to share that gossip with you guys. That Goodwill was apparently cray. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I found at Snowline. 
All right, guys, so here is everything that I found. So I've kind of divided it so this is more of the fashion items, and then this is kind of the crafty stuff that I found. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So first up is this set of magnetic bookmarks that I actually found in the gift wrapping section, but of course I saw them and immediately just threw them in my cart. They are so darn cute. So they're all Parisian themed, so you'll see there's a little hot air balloon, an Eiffel Tower, a bird carrying a love note, a cat with a beret on it, come on, a dog with a beret and a little striped shirt, and then a bird carrying a camera. So I just love all the little prints and colors, and I know I'm going to use these in my planner, and they were a little over a dollar. So they had lots of yarn to choose from, and even though I am not a knitter, I don't think that's going to be anything that I'll be getting into anytime soon, I did want to pick up one skein just to try my hand at making planner tassels. I'll put in a picture of what I'm talking about, but I've seen a few tutorials here on YouTube, and I thought it'd be fun to give it a go. So I found this really pretty kind of mint green color with those little silver flecks in it. So I think I will try one and see how it comes out. And this was only 50 cents, so I thought that really wasn't bad. So you guys saw in the store that somebody had donated a whole bunch of stamp sets. So I picked up a couple that really stood out to me and that I think I'll use. So the first one is this set of four with kind of a falling style. So it's like falling leaves, falling polka dots, or maybe snow, flowers, and then hearts. I just thought that that was so cute. And I think I'll have a lot of fun kind of playing around with those. So you'll see it was $2.69, so I got that for half off. And then the other stamp set that I got is this really cute one that says XOXO Gobble, I think. Oh yeah, Gobble with a little turkey. Ho Ho with a little um, Santa hat. And then Boo with the ghost. Like, come on, had to get that one. So scrapbooking supplies so I picked up this little plan a page junior so it's pretty much just a template for laying out where you want your pictures and little um, sayings to go or kind of the description or caption for each picture so I thought that was kind of cool and again I can totally use it in my planner or if I want to do bullet journaling or something it's always good to have something to kind of start off from so I thought it would come in handy for a variety of reasons and it was only 50 cents so next up is something that isn't very exciting, but I have been on the hunt for one, and that is an accordion file. So I got this fabric covered one. So it's nice and sturdy, and it has tons of room inside to organize my papers and files and all that good stuff. So I'm glad that I can finally check it off my list. And it was under $3, and then of course I got it for half off. So last step for my craft supplies that I found at Snowline is Every Crafter's Dream, and that is these little plastic organizers. Oh my gosh, there's so much that you can do with these, and I've been on the hunt for one, and I'm happy that I found this one because it actually, like, stays shut. Like, you guys heard that it actually shuts closed. So many of them that I find at the thrift store are flimsy, and the lid just kind of flies open. So that was awesome to come across this one and even though there were a ton and I got so excited when I saw that corner of all of these organizers, I said, Katie, <laughs> you only need one of them, just get one. So that's what I did. I got the one and I'm really happy with it and I know exactly what I'm going to be using this for. So yay. And you guys will see it was $1.79 so then of course I got it for half off. So now on to the fashion items that I got. So the first thing is this really cute Apartment 9 little sweater with these kind of bronze colored sequins all over them. Like look at those flowers, they're so pretty. And I love the mixture of the gold with the gray. That's something I hadn't thought about before, but I think it looks really cute and so perfect for the fall. So of course I had to pick this one up and I think that their sweaters are a little under $5. So then I got it for half off. So next up is this seriously awesome scarf. Oh my god, look at those ginormous lobsters. I think that this is so cute. And I think it's something that can work, of course, in the summertime, but then kind of going into the fall because once it's kind of done up, 
it's really hard to tell what's on there so it just looks like a navy scarf with little bits of light blue and red coming through but I just die when I open it up <laughs> and see those lobsters like I cannot even and I didn't see a tag on this one but it looks very like J. Crew ish I don't know if you guys happen to know who makes this scarf please let me know I'm so curious and this little baby was a little under three dollars so of course I got it for about a dollar fifty so last up from Snowline are probably my favorite finds of the day and that is these two vintage beauties OMG so the first one is this really sweet little vintage handbag we'll see if I can do this with one hand here but of course it has that kiss lock opening that you guys know that I love. But then inside there's this little attached like coin purse here. Like I can't even. It's so sweet. I always love when these vintage bags come with some kind of um, smaller bag inside. It just it makes me so happy. And their purses are like $4.79. So to get that for half off, done deal. <laughs> like done deal. I had to get that one. And then something else that I had to walk out of there with was this amazing brooch. And let me see if I can show you guys here. So it's a little telephone. So the top of the phone is here. And then there's the cord. And then the base of the phone is at the bottom. So you just take the pin out of the side of the bottom of the phone and put it through whatever you're wearing. And then the little cord kind of hangs there. Like, come on. It's so cute. I was like, I must get this. <laughs> I don't care how much it is. Just give it to me. But then when I saw it was only seven bucks and then half off, like, of course, I'm so jazzed to wear this. I think it's going to be so cute. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for my haul of everything that I found at the Snowline 50% off Labor Day sale. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing what I got. If you guys went shopping on Labor Day, make sure to let me know in the comments below what your best find was. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting.